we could be in for a pretty good fire season this year. As temperatures start to heat up, so does the risk of wildfire. State officials are closely watching conditions and making plans for some catastrophic big wildfires. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story from Utah's Capitol Hill. Lawmakers here on Capitol Hill were briefed on the situation. Meanwhile, some communities have already been placed under fire restriction. As of right now, we've seen 195 wildfires in the state of Utah. We've burned about 1,017 acres. Compared to last year at this time, we're doing pretty good. Things are looking okay right now, but state fire officials say conditions are setting up for what could be a bad summer of wildfires. The fuels are dry, it's hot. Already some counties in southern Utah are under restrictions. Stage one restrictions ban fires, fireworks, smoking, tracer ammunition, exploding targets, except in designated areas. Spark arresters are required on ATVs and other small engines, and no cutting or grinding metal in areas of dry vegetation. Vegetation. Stage two restrictions are all of that, plus no open fires. More counties could start moving into fire restrictions soon, and it's critical everyone does what they can to avoid sparking a wildfire. The majority of wildfires so far have been human caused. Everybody always wants to say they're not going to be the person that starts a wildfire, and that's not reality. So please use your fire sense when you're out there recreating. State officials told the legislature's interim natural resources committee they're already beefing up their response for pending wildfires. We have our first helicopter sitting in Cedar City right now on a contract. It started at 830 this morning and we're going to be using that for our benefit down there. Right now they're also focusing on areas where there's been a lot of grasses. We need to start working on reducing those hazardous fuels in those wooey areas, those wildland urban interface areas. We're primed for that and when it when it comes it's going to be pretty devastating if we don't if we don't get out in front of that. Lawmakers are looking at whether they need to make more policy changes to better deal with wildfires. Representative Galen Benyon says she's exploring more wildland urban interface legislation. Building codes in the WUI that maybe we need to have some changes to pr have buildings that are better prepared. Now cities and counties across the state are starting to roll out their fireworks restrictions to find out if your neighborhood is affected. Check with your local fire department. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.